Hello students, welcome to Saurav Sir's classes. Today we are going to learn about the central limit theorem which is abbreviated as CLT. Now in the mathematical theory of probability the CLT may be expressed as follows if xi where i goes from 1 to and so on up to n be independent RVs where RV stands for random variables such that expectation xi is equal to mu i and variance xi is equal to sigma i square then under certain very general conditions the random variable sn is equal to x1 plus x2 and so on up to xn is asymptotically normal with mean mu and standard deviation sigma where mu is equal to summation mu i i going from 1 to n and sigma square is equal to summation sigma i square where i goes from 1 to n so you could basically replace the standard deviation sigma with variance sigma square as well now there are particular cases of this general central limit theorem so we would be discussing them one by one firstly we have the de Moivre's Laplace theorem it states that if xi is equal to 1 with probability p and 0 with probability q then the distribution of the random variable Sn is equal to x1 plus x2 and so on up to xn where xi's are independent is asymptotically normal as n tends to infinity thus from this theorem it also follows that standard binomial variate tends to standard normal variate as n tends to infinity or in simpler words binomial distribution tends to normal distribution as n tends to infinity next moving on to the lindberg levy theorem I'll do it with a different color. So, the Lindbergh Levy theorem. The states that if x1 x2 and so on up to xn 
are independently and identically distributed random variables with expectation xi is equal to mu1 and variance xi is equal to sigma1 square i goes from 1 to up to n then the sum sn is equal to x1 plus x2 and so on up to xn is asymptotically normal with mean mu is equal to n mu 1 and variance sigma square is equal to n sigma 1 square another version of the central limit theorem is Lyapunov's central limit theorem Now this is the generalized case when the variables are not identically distributed and where in addition to the existence of the second moment for the variable xi we impose some further conditions. Now let x1, x2 and so on up to xn be independent. random variables such that expectation xi is equal to mu i and variance xi is equal to sigma i square where i goes from 1 to and up to n. Let us suppose that the third absolute moment say rho i cube of x i about its mean exists that is rho i cube is equal to expectation of mod x i minus mu i cube is finite. Further, let rho cube is equal to summation rho i cube where i goes from 1 to n. Then, if limit n tends to infinity rho by sigma is equal to 0 then the sum sn is equal to x1 plus x2 and so on up to xn is again asymptotically follows normal it mean mu and sigma square where mu is equal to summation mu i and sigma square is equal to summation sigma i square and in both the cases i goes from 1 up to n 
Thank you for watching this video and stay tuned to our channel Sort of Search classes for further videos on statistical concepts.